Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March, sorry, uh, February 28th through to March the 6th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, we have the Nine of Cups in the upright. Followed then by the Eight of Swords reversed. Next we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Next we have the Six of Cups upright. And lastly, Major Arcana, the Fool in the upright. So for your overall energy, Scorpio, you have the beautiful Wish card. You have the Nine of Cups in the upright position. This is a card that represents... Um, I don't know why I was going to say celebrity, but it represents celebrations. And uh, maybe some of you are celebrating your celebrity. But this is about having a wish come true. Now, for some of you, it could be a small wish. It could be a large wish for others that is manifesting this week. Remember, this is your overall energy. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Who doesn't want the wish card dominating the whole week? It's beautiful. Um... Maybe for some of you, it's even several wishes that are coming to uh, to pass this week. But the wish card just don't over-celebrate because we all know it's a card that also representing overindulgence. So just uh, be careful with that. Um, remember, these are just general reads. So only take what applies to you and what resonates. And if it doesn't, then check back next week. Maybe that'll be a reading. But right at the beginning of the week, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. Well, the Eight of Swords upright can come about when we're feeling trapped. And sometimes it's just trapped in our own minds, our own thoughts that keep us feeling like we, we're trapped and there's nothing we can do about a situation. When the card is inverted, however, this is where we feel released. Maybe for some of you, that was your wish. Maybe some of you were hoping to be released of uh, duties or situations that no longer served you, maybe even relationships that no longer served you. You just want to be free of all this. Uh, whatever your version of freedom is, Scorpio, this is what we're talking about. Something that kept you feeling trapped and now, boom, you are free. <laughs> You're free to go now. <laughs> And uh, the next card we have up is the Five of Pentacles in the reverse position. Five of Pentacles upright points to, can point to, um, on the financial front, feeling like things are a little bit tight and maybe a little bit concerned about whether or not you're going to make all the obligations, financial obligations throughout the month. And when it's reversed, and this can indicate that, you know, it's smooth sailing. You made it through this time frame. Things were not as bad, perhaps, as you thought they would be. can point back to the Four of Pentacles in the upright position, which is a card that represents, um, you know, putting everything financially in a neat little package. It can come up when... Say, for example, you have scattering debts through credit cards and then you put it all together in one manageable loan and now you have that monthly payment to go through. Or sometimes you need to start putting money aside to save for something, say for a trip, say for a wedding, say for there's many reasons why you would be saving. So um, there's that, but then the Five of Pentacles in the upright can also point to feeling abandoned, being abandoned by others, or we abandon them. And this could be a return of someone or some people that you have abandoned. You could see them returning this week. Um, maybe others of you, you are <coughs> going back into the fold of people you have, have abandoned. Moving on towards the weekend, we do have the beautiful Six of Cups here. Blast from the past, very soulmate-y kind of energy. Uh, this could be meeting someone new that feels like someone from the past, like a past life connection. This can also represent running into people or spending time with people from the past. This will come up when, say, all of a sudden, one of our friends for many years says, hey, I'm getting together all these people from, that we used to hang out with, and we're going to go have this little reunion. It's one of those kind of energies. Could be for some of you, that's literally what's happening. For others of you, perhaps you're attending something. Could be a family dinner or something like that. And maybe there's a bunch of people around who um, that you haven't seen in a long time. And you're just kind of getting together with them again. For others of you, this could be reconnecting with someone from the past. Someone who feels like a soulmate. Someone you've always had that connection with. But perhaps the timing wasn't right before. And now the timing is right. Hence the 
wish card, right? Could be that, wow, I can't believe we're both single at the same time. <laughs> Could be that situation for some of you reminiscing, uh, just maybe even for some of you, you're just getting a call from somebody you haven't talked to in a long time and remembering the past very fondly. And then the last card you have is the beautiful fool in the upright position. Well, you're ready to take a chance again. It's interesting when this comes up with this card because this is like... You know, soulmate from the past returns and I'm ready to, you know, jump off a cliff. No, I'm ready to <laughs> now take that, you know, leap of faith and maybe go into this relationship or take it seriously or that kind of thing. For others of you, it could be something completely different. Maybe it's because you got your wish and your wish was to be able to start fresh, start new, do something brand new. Some of you could be trying a new hobby. Others of you could be, you know, taking that leap of faith into a new career or a new place to live or um, definitely with a new relationship. So yeah, yeah, looks like a fun, fun week for Scorpio. <laughs> I really hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if it resonated for you. And do tell us how so. Inquiry minds want to know. Take care. Much love. Bye-bye for now.